just don't like whatever you do tell your story don't lie and don't be scared like your face I, isn't on this at all yes it, it's just so much has happened and then it's like i was roofy so a lot of the, a lot of shit that happened i don't remember how were you and where were you at I was 16 and I went to some, um, like, it's like a building, but it was a studio above that. And I went there with a guy named Brandon. Mm -hmm. And um, he was supposed to let me meet Tip because, you know, Tip, I think Tip was thinking about starting his label. And he wanted me to meet Tip. I was nervous then, too. He gave me a drink. Like, he asked me that I want a drink. I told him, yeah, he gave me the drink. It was like a little shot. I, I remember it. Like, it was like a little shot. I took I, I took the shot. And after I took the shot, like, almost 15, 20 minutes later, I, it was like I was woozy. Like, I, I started losing, like, like, mobility. Like, I couldn't fully function. Um... I remember sitting on it. They had like a little couch. I was sitting on the couch. At first, it was just me and that guy. Um, and then I passed out. And it was like, you know how, like you can pass out. And then I popped back up. And it was like him and two other dudes. Who was him and two other dudes? So it was Brandon. And I don't know who the other two men were. Still to this day, I don't know who those two men were. So where was Tip when all this was happening? He, he was in a room on the other side of us. So it was like a hall. And it was... It, okay, so you know how an apartment building is like three different halls, like like the build of an apartment building, where it's like a hallway in different apartment buildings? It was like we were in one room, but I was waiting on tip. Like I was supposed to be singing for him, giving him my demo. I was supposed to be meeting him. Did he know that did, did he see you take a drink or was he did you did you ever encounter him at all? So on the way out, it was like I met him, but I didn't get a chance to like sit and fully talk with him. But, you know, him and him and the guy did like a high five and he was like, y'all wild. And he said, y'all wild. Yeah. After they raped you, who <laughs> said y'all wild? Tip. How were, you when this, how were you when this happened? Like, what year was this? I was 16, and this was, I want to say, the was it 2011? I know because the only reason I know, it had to be, it was 2011. And Tip had just, I think he just got out of jail, or he was just about to go to jail. One of those. Because I remember the guy talking about it. That they, um... I called my mom. And my mom actually flew to Atlanta and they made my mom sign the paper. But the guy explained to me that the paper was just because I was around such a high profile celebrity. Anything that happened with that, so like around surrounding that celebrity, I couldn't talk. So he made me and my mother sign the paper. Anything else you want to say? Like anything else you want to say? Like, like, no, like, I just try to let this go. Like this have I'm, I'm 26 now, so I try to let this go. But these people is really like animals. Like they not who they say they are at all, and it's just a shame. And just to bring it with you alone, like I, I'm seeing all of this stuff happen, and these people don't believe you. <laughs> We're going to go truth for truth. Clifford Harris put a gun in my head. Truth is, I didn't have a weapon. Truth is, I didn't call the police on him. Truth is, I didn't sue him and I could have. Truth is, I never spoke about this on the many times I could have spoke about it. That's the truth. That's the truth. 
And regardless of what anyone says, take a moment and put a cold gun to your fucking temple and recite to yourself, bitch, I'm going to kill you, bitch.